In this video, we are going to be discussing and ranking the top five mistakes that people make racing dirt bikes. Stick around to the end to hear my top tip that I think everyone should be doing. Without further ado, let's get into it. My name is Blake and I've been riding for almost eight years and I am riding at an amateur level now. So I'd like to share with you some of my knowledge that I have and hopefully you would enjoy. So when I first started riding, a little story time here, people would ask me, hey, how fast are you? And you know, I would say, yeah, I'm fast. And in reality, I could just get out of first gear and I thought I was the coolest person ever. I'll tell you a little bit about my bike here. It's my racing gear. In reality, when people ask you, hey, how fast are you? You don't say, yeah, I'm fast. It's, it's more of a respect kind of thing. So have respect for the other person and say, hey, I actually try my best. I show up to the track every day, you know, or not every day, every weekend. I show up to the track every weekend. I work hard and you know, I put my heart into this sport. You really want to take this seriously, you really got to work hard. So if, they, if you can show that respect to them, they'll show that respect right back to you. Tip number five, always be humble and don't be arrogant. Moving on into tip number four, looks do not equal speed, I promise. You know, I had the misconception that, oh my God, if I wear this high level, high dollar equipment, I'll look like a freaking pro out there and I'll go faster. In reality, it's not how it works. And I know you can get caught up in it a lot. Here's this, here's my first ever helmet. This is actually my first ever racing helmet. You can tell the visor's gone, so I look like an absolute goon out there on the track. When I did wear that, looks don't equal speed. So if you're just starting out, don't go buy new. Ask people for hand-me-downs if there's people that you know. Hey, do you have any hand-me-down gear you wanna give me or I'll give you a few bucks for trade or whatever. Ask them, it doesn't hurt to ask. And if that doesn't work, Head over to MX Locker. It's a it's an app that I use and I'm not sponsored or anything, but they're really helpful and I've gotten a ton of stuff off there. Bike parts, gear, everything. You can it's everything dirt bike related. So I'll drop a link to that in the description. But uh, yeah, looks don't equal speed. I know this sounds wild for me to say, but I hear so many people say, yeah, dude, I've been riding for about eight months. I think I'm gonna get my pro card at the end of the season. Mike, bro, no, you're not. Like, chill out. Like, there's there's no way that it takes so much time to work up to a high level of riding, especially the, the racing nowadays. Like, they're just wild. So it takes a really long time to get to that level. And just, this leads me into my next tip. Take your time. I myself have been riding for almost eight years, like I mentioned earlier in the video. And I'm constantly still studying crashes, technique, form, everything, listening to other people's knowledge. Take your time. There's no need to rush this whole process and just really study things and just take your time, work hard and just try not to get hurt. Of course, um, you, you know, this, this, if you want to go, if you want to go far in the sport, it's going to take time. It's going to take those long hours, those late nights, you know, everything like that. It's not a, just a hop on and go if you want to take this any bit seriously. So tip number four, take your time. Going into my number one tip that I could give any of you guys, and if you can take anything away from this video, take this tip away. Technique. Practice good technique and good form on the bike. I promise it'll pay off. I never practiced that when I first started riding, so it took me a while to break habits that I already made. So there was habits I had of where my hands were, where my body was, is like, it was so hard to break those and I'm still breaking those today. So make sure you practice good technique and good form. It'll pay off so much, trust me, and it'll make you a better and safer rider and really faster rider too. If you're at your local track or local race and you haven't already, just walk up to that beginner rider and if you are a good rider and a decent rider and you could show some peace of mind with them, some knowledge or anything, or just break, start a conversation, you know, break that icebreaker, you know? So just start a conversation with them and just kind of give them that confidence boost. I know when I started, I really wanted to talk to those fast riders and those good riders, but didn't really have the confidence. So you talking to them would go a long way. I know I like to talk to anybody that I can and I know it makes their day. So I've never seen one person not leave without a smile because I know I used to be that kid. So really apply that to the next race you go to. Another bonus tip I think you guys should know is that, oh my gosh, for whatever you do, please do not show up to the track with a dirty bike. I don't care how much time you have or if you have zero time, just whatever you do, at least make an effort to clean it. I, I know it's kind of hectic sometimes, but just have a clean bike when you show up to the track. It'll make you look a lot a lot better of a rider and make clean your bike for heaven's sakes. I mean, just clean your bike, so. Well, that's the top five mistakes beginners make racing dirt bikes. If any of these tips helped open your eyes or if you just enjoyed the video, consider hitting that like button and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. 
I put my heart and soul in these videos and I really hope you guys enjoy them. Thank you guys for watching and remember to always stay humble. See ya.